tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. Hello, I learned 3D modeling with NURBS. And these are three NURBS curves here. And when I connect, want to connect these two, for example, I just select the two and I go to here or under surfaces, it's the top entry here, loft, I create a loft. So it's it's right there. And uh, when I want to create a bridge between this one and that one, I just select the two of them and I repeat the same command. And uh, when I reverse this one here, reverse direction, it looks quite nice and that was a straightforward modeling procedure. Now when I want to do this with a polygon, it's really complicated and I was quite amazed. Actually, I didn't want to do this, but um, I had to because I wanted to try out something with a liquid, which I pour into a glass. And uh, the glass modeling is really complex. So let's create a new scene and I'll show you the solution to this complexity, really. And the grid and with Alt B, you get different background colors. Now um, we go to polygon modeling and we create this object here. The cylinder here in the attribute editor has entries about the radius, the height, etc. Let's just go to subdivisions, caps for the caps up, the ones up and down here, and let's reduce them to zero. So uh, we can easily now right mouse click, select the faces or pick the faces, pick that one, no other face really, and delete it. So we basically have deleted the top cap now back to object mode, right mouse click, and now we uh, move it a little bit further up above the grid like this, and we duplicate it, control D. Now we have two here and we see cylinder one and cylinder two in the outliner, and I scale this just a little bit down, the second one. And I move it slightly up so that we have the edges here at about the same level right here now I want to create a surface between those two so I have rim which is a surface and not just these infinitely small edges how do I go about this well um, this is not that easy and if you want to try it out there are several commands to combine the surfaces, etc. For example, mesh, combine, and conform, and triangulate, and all that. Edit mesh, you have merge, and extrude, and transform, and symmetrize, etc. The key command which you use here is, and you need to know that, that in advance, is the bridge. Now, I've selected both surfaces, and when I bridge them now, I get an error message doesn't work with multiple objects selected. So that means I need to pack these two surfaces, the polygon cylinder 1 and polygon cylinder 2, into one mesh. Where's that command? We combine them using the command mesh combine. I selected both cylinders and I combine them into one now. That's the cylinder we have. These are the, the previous ones which, through the construction history, make this S uh, well, it's not a cylinder really, it's uh, it's almost a glass of water, but there's something missing here. Now I've merged them together, combined them together actually, now I right mouse click and select edges. And I double click here, so I get the whole rim selected, and with the shift key I double click the inner part now. Now uh, I have these edge loops selected, two of them. And now, can I use the bridge command? Uh, yes, but it doesn't do exactly what I mean. And the reason is subtle. Let's undo this and undo the combination of the two. So lots of undos now. 
Now I'm back to two cylinders here. I posted this question, why is it so hard to get a simple surface between these two edge loops here into the Maya area? And this is my entry. I asked, actually today, two edge loops and a bridge. Hi folks, I come from the NURBS world and I'm quite familiar with the basics of poly uh, polygon modeling. However, I need a helping hand for a tutorial about Bifrost I'm planning. I created a polygon cylinder, deleted the top cap, copied that object, scaled it down slightly, combined the two into one surface, selected the edge loops at the top and tried to create a bridge between them. See the screenshot. There's a screenshot which is basically shows what you've just seen. The bridge bridges the whole top of the object. In other words, it creates a new cap. What I want is a glass which I later fill with a liquid. And I got an answer about eight minutes later, Brent MC, and he said, I was able to use bridge, but I added a step you might have been missing. And I'll show you that step now. I got uh, other answers here. Uh, in Polygon World, uh, we do an extrusion to create thickness. Yes, I know, but I, I just wanted to get this done here. So let's minimize this. And the trick is the following. And thanks, Brent, for letting us all know. The process goes like this, and the problem basically is this. I select both of the surfaces, they're not combined into one yet, and I want to display the face directions. We go to display because we want to see something. We go to polygons because we see want to see something with polygons. We want to see the face normals. We want to see where the faces point to. And here we see the where they point to, to the outside. Let's select the inner one, and the inner one has faces which point to the outside. And the outer one, they paint to the, uh, point to the outside. And the reason why the bridge command fails is that they point in the, into the same direction. We need to, <laughs> and I mean, this is crazy, um, we need to reverse that direction here. That's uh, as simple as it is. How do we reverse it? Well, if you don't find it, go to Help and Find Menu and type in Reverse. And here you see Mesh Display Reverse. So we go to Mesh Display and then Reverse. Where is it? Up here. So now when we go back to Object Mode, and we select this, the outer one, the faces point to the outside, and the inner one, they, now they paint, point to the inside. And now we can combine them. Before com combining them, you need to change that faces direction. Because when once you combine them, you can only change the direction of the faces for the whole new object, which doesn't make sense here. Mesh, combine. Now we actually can delete the history, so these cylinders are gone. D edit, delete by type history. We don't need to do that, but it makes the scene a little bit leaner. And we still have the inner faces pointing to the inside and the outer faces to the outside. And now we right mouse click and go back to edges. That's where we came from. We double click here and we shift double click here. And now the command should work. Edit Mesh Bridge. Done. If you don't want to see the directions of the faces anymore, go back to Display, Polygons, Face Normals. When you press the key 2, you see the smooth object, which you can use for the purpose of a glass of water as well. It really depends. You can use the smooth command as well. But now you have a nice <laughs> edge. <laughs> if you have questions, don't ask me the questions because I'm not the expert. The experts are here in the Maya area. So post your questions there. It's uh, And we're all learning by this rather than asking me questions which I cannot answer or don't have time to answer. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye.